Hello friends, uh, I'm Parviz and today is our ninth video in PyQDA5 GUI program. Uh, in the last video we have uh, covered the basics of uh, signal and slots. Uh, uh, this was from the... and in this video uh, I'm going to cover the Q message box. Don't worry, we will cover the signal and slots, the advanced signal and slots in the further videos. Uh, but uh, uh, the previous video was the basics and uh, you can see that uh, these codes are from the previous video if you haven't watched uh, please watch the previous video uh, now if I run this um, you can see I have a simple window and I'll, I have a close button if I click on this I'm receiving a message box of are you sure to close if I click no nothing happen if I click uh, yes the application the window is closed now in this video we are going to cover the queue message box in PyQtf5 uh, the first thing you need uh, you should make a new uh, python file I call it queue message box and I grab the source code from from my previous video uh, I think uh, it was from the first video the window simple window that we have made I copy this and paste it in here uh, I repeat again if you haven't watched please watch the videos from the first and come back in this video okay now if I run this I will have a simple nice window with an icon and also a title okay now first of all you need you should import the Q push button and also the Q message box like this For make a button um, I call it uh, button Q push button uh, you need uh, a title for this I give uh, about about box and self if you run this we will have a simple button but we want to bring this in here for this take your button dot move and it takes two uh, coordinates the first one is y and x coordinates uh, like this I give it 200 not 100 200 200 if you run this uh, you can see that it is in here okay uh, now in here define a new function diff about sorry about message take your Q message box uh, one thing if you uh, hit the dot you can see that we have uh, uh, we have question, we have uh, information, we have about, we have different things for our Q message box. And here uh, I'm covering, in this video I'm covering the about and uh, question message boxes. Uh, the others um, you can try by yourself. Okay, Q message box dot about. It takes three parameters. The first one is self, the second one is the title of uh, message box. Uh, I give it uh, mm, about message and the third one is the mm, the message uh, this is about message box okay now I connect this uh, uh, function or method to my button and here take your button dot uh, clicked uh, remove this to and dot connect self dot about message if you run this you can see our simple window and if I click on about box you can see that we have a nice message box this is the title about message and this is the message this is about message box Okay, now we want to uh, cover the uh, question message box. First of all, you need to make another button. I call it button 2. 
आप Q push button uh, question message self sorry self okay now move your this button button two dot move give it hundred by hundred okay now if you run this you can see we have another button but uh, it's doing nothing uh, we are going to make a functionality to this uh, make define another sorry and here define another function diff uh, question question message okay uh, now make a, a variable message q message box dot question uh, the first one is solve and the second one is uh, uh, question message uh, the third one is uh, the mm, I give uh, have you subscribed my channel subscribed uh, my channel okay now uh, the another uh, parameter that we give q message box dot yes or q message box dot no and q message box dot no okay uh, check the code like this now uh, I want to add a conditional statement if if message is q message box dot yes if this happen I want to print uh, yes I have subscribed else else Mm, you can write print no I have not subscribed okay now connect your this uh, connect your this function to the button to the button 2 at the top and here uh, take your button 2 dot clicked like the previous uh, dot connect self dot uh, it was I think a uh, question message now if I run this okay and if I click the question message you can see that we have a question message have you subscribed if you click no no I have not subscribed you can see in here if I click on this yes you can see yes I have subscribed uh, okay guys this was our ninth video if you have any question please let me know and also if you like this video uh, please uh, uh, like this video and also please for the further videos subscribe my channel